state of this bridge. This is over the Trent and Mersey Canal. Apparently a truck tried to get over this bridge the other day. Look at the mess he's made here. Almost about to fall into the river, into the canal, sorry. See if you can get a better view of it from uh, over the bridge. Wow. He's moved the entire section of the bridge. It's the Trent and Mersey towards uh, Stenson. And that way towards Swarkston. He's obviously followed his sat nav, he or she. It's probably one of the most hit bridges along this stretch of canal. Look at this police tape here. Look. I don't know if you can get to see it. Yeah, you can't really see it from there. You can just about make it out from there, look. So they've shut it off to pedestrians underneath. I don't know about boats though. Boats seem to be able to still use it. Let's take one more look at it. There's police tape here. Ugh. That's taken some some impact that has. The crater that it's left between the side and edge of the road. It's actually moved it probably half a foot. It's moved this entire wall section half a foot at least. Bloody hell. The amount of cars, there's no road close signs until you get to the bridge. So just look at that. You're not coming on here, pal. Then you've got the railway that you can just hear. Just across the way there. Yeah, what a mess. This bridge has got to be nearly 200 years old. I mean, why would you even think about bringing a lorry over here? But apparently that's what's happened, is the lorry's hit it. I don't know which way it was coming, whether it was coming from that direction or... or from that direction. Anyway... Blimey. I don't think there's a single part of this bridge that's original. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Look at that. Pulled it all away from the road. I don't know whether the driver stopped. He's even pulled up the uh, curb engine stones here. Look. And you can see where the tyre's gone a bit. Scraped all the way down there. One last look at the canal.